Train sets can come in various scales, which refer to the proportion of the model train to the real-life train it represents. Different scales are popular in different regions and among different groups of model train enthusiasts. Here are some of the most common scales for model trains. Z scale, 1 to 220. Z scale is one of the smallest model train scales, making it ideal for those with limited space. It's about 1 220th the size of the real train. N scale, 1 to 160. N scale is a popular choice for model railroaders because it's small and allows for detailed layouts in a relatively compact space. It's about 1 160th the size of the real train. Ho scale, 1 to 87. Ho scale is one of the most popular scales for model railroading. It's large enough to include intricate details yet small enough to fit in many home layouts. It's about 1 87th the size of the real train. O scale, 1 48. O scale is larger and allows for more substantial details. It's often used for model railroads, both toy and scale, and is about 1 48th the size of the real train. G scale, 1 22. To 1 32, G scale is often used for garden railways and outdoor layouts. It's much larger than the other scales and is typically chosen for its durability and ability to withstand outdoor conditions. The scale can vary from 122 to 132. S scale, 1 to 64. S scale is less common than Ho or O scale but offers a good compromise between size and detail. It's about 1 64th the size of the real train. TT scale, 1 to 120. TT scale is less common than some of the other scales but offers a good balance between size and detail. It's about 1 120th the size of the real train. Standard gauge, 148 to 129. Standard gauge is not as common as other scales and represents larger, early 20th century toy trains. It varies in scale from 148 to 129. Narrow gauge. Various scales can represent narrow gauge railways, such as Hun 3, On 30, or GN 15, where the tracks are closer together than in standard gauge railroads. Each scale has its own set of advantages and limitations, and the choice of scale depends on factors like available space, personal preferences, and the era and type of trains you want to model in your layout. Model railroading can be a highly customizable hobby, allowing enthusiasts to create layouts that suit their interests and available resources. If this information was helpful and interesting to you please like, share and subscribe to this channel for more interesting videos.